You're right guys, it's Capcom Tom here and welcome to episode number 108 of Mission Manchester. Now we're going to jump straight into our trade pile. You can see that we have gone and sold everything. The two Ronaldinho's, the two Sherla, the Hamshik, the David Luiz, the Sanchez and the Koscielny. Now if you want to buy some Ultimate Team coins, go and check out the link in the description. It takes you to FIFA Coins online Facebook page. Make sure you drop a like while you're there and you can link off to the actual website. So there you go. Trading done so far for this episode. The total we have is 646,000 coins. Van Persie team of the season is going for around the 660 mark. There was one for 659,000, a few for 669, there's one for 660 I believe there. So it's not too bad. We're looking like we're only about 15k away from buying one of these bad boys for our own team, which will be absolutely super. So let's go play some games. We can do some trading and hopefully we'll be able to buy Robin Van Persie in the next episode depending on how well the trading goes. So we're going into our first game of Division 2 unfortunately. We did get relegated in the last episode and we come up against a team and he's using Aguero, Defoe, he's also using Valencia and Bale as well as Terry, Cole and a bunch of other BPL sweaters. And we take the lead because he fouls me in the box and we end up taking the penalty with Robin Van Persie and you can see why I've never applied for X Factor because I can't really hold a tune or sing. So there you go. First off, we start off by taking the lead. Van Persie giving us the lead. But unfortunately, he decided to tramp me and score the smart pass, proving fruitful for him. There was no action until late on in the game. We got through. Big bundle in the middle of the pitch and unfortunately he broke from it and ended up scoring. 90th minute. Eat your heart out. But can you ever count anyone out in the 90th minute? You can when he scores a second, or can you? Because we managed to score one in the 90th minute as well. Here it rolls into the back of the net from Rooney. But unfortunately that was the end of the game. So there you go, 90th minute, absolutely crazy. Three goals, no goals, or one, it was 1-1 one, one up until the 89th minute, and then the 90th minute proved to give us three goals. Absolutely bonkers, that's just the way the game works, but we're all used to it by now. Our next game is going to be against a 4-3-2-1. I'm going to not stop, I'm going to stop actually. I'm going to stop. A 4-3-2-1 Juventus team. Um, and it's got some strong players in there, also some dodgy players, but uh, yeah, he scored from across. Pepe giving him the lead, but we got back into the game. Robin Van Persie with the Ronaldo chop and the easy finish as he brought his keeper well out of net in the 23rd minute, but another cross, another goal, and that just seems to be a recurring theme at the moment. I've been told the way to cross is to completely leave the man on the outside of the box and just take the man in the middle and make sure you're marking the guy in the middle of the box because you can't stop the cross, but you can stop the guy from getting the header. So with 3-1 down at this point, we get back to 3-2, nice little cross. Did I just say that? Is that really hip hypocritical, saying nice cross and a nice goal when I've just complained about him scoring three crosses? I think it is. We'll just ignore that fact and move on. Let's do the trading. That's what we're here for. You guys keep saying do more trading for this series because we need to get that Van Persie. So I've gone away and spent basically all our coins, 75,000 coins on this Vidal, selling him for 85,000, but he is in a centre attacking mid position. Will that be a problem for us to make him, you know, get out of our club and sell on for profit? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Jovino for 80,000, going for 89,000. We have a storage that we have picked up for 58,000, listing up for 64,500. There's some coins to be made there. Maybe we should be looking for a bigger profit margin on some of these players because sometimes I think that maybe I'm just buying them because I don't want to do hours and hours of trading and I see something I'm like I convince myself into thinking that's a good deal but really it's not because I don't make that many coins on it maybe I need to be more careful anyway we've got a Cesar there that we listed up for 70,000 after we bought it for 62 another Ronaldinho this time in a centre mid position 89,000 listing up for a 98,000 a trapped or Tarabat as Math Denton calls him Listing him up for 64,000 after we bought him for 56,000. We also got a Lampard here, but I accidentally put him in my trade pass, so we'll have to list him up in a minute. Also, an Evra that's in a left wing back, and I don't like selling stuff in a left wing back because it doesn't sell as well. So I put it in the club. I'm going to put a left wing back to left back modifier on it and then sell it on for the coins. So you can see here we're going into the squad. We're going to put that left wing back to left back out on the uh, Evra, and now he's on the left back position. He's going to go into the club or into the trade pile. Picked him up for 66,500, listing him up for 75,000, and then there is also that Lampard. I accidentally put in the trade pile, sending back our other card back to our club. And here's the Lampard. We're going to list him up for about 65,000 after we bought him for 56. Well, no, we're even going to list him up for even more. I don't know. 63,000. There you go. So, 
I can stop talking so fast. That was absolutely manic. So much going on on the screen. I tried to keep up with it. I hope that I did. I hope you know what's going on and I need to stop. I've got caught in a loop where I just can't stop talking fast. Now we're coming into our final game of the episode against a 3-5-2 Bundesliga slash La Liga hybrid. It's got some good players. Royce isn't on full chemistry though. I think he's on five because he's in the wrong position and he hasn't got full chemistry links. And we take the lead. Robin Van Persie with an absolute blazer from outside the box in the second minute to give us the lead. Now you may be thinking that he scores from this corner but he doesn't. I end up kicking it long and this is why you don't use created set pieces where you don't have any blooming defenders because you're going to get caught out. Simple ball up the pitch, didn't really know what to do, should I tramp, I ended up shooting. Didn't think the smart pass was necessary, 2-0 up in the 6th minute, good work, however, that was supposed to be a clearance. I clicked the B button, or is it the X button, I can't remember, the button that you press to do a slide tackle, but I was hoping to clear it, really should have pressed the actual clear button. But you can forgive me for that. I ended up sliding him. He ends up scoring, which is really annoying. Gave him a lifeline back into the game in the 14th minute. Also gave Smalling a yellow card, which is going to prove a little bit problematic later in the game. But you'll see about that. However, we do break through with Hernandez, who ends up going all the way to the goal and absolutely firing that one into the back of the net. Good work from Hernandez in the 45th minute. And this is where the t game sort of gone wrong or went wrong. Royce getting through, you know how overpowered Royce is, slipping that one into the back of the net unfortunately. Then that, I didn't think was a yellow card tackle, I simply stuck my leg out, he went down, red card, that means we're 10 men, one missing at the back, I did put an extra defender on and it didn't really make any difference as you see there Royce managed to get through on goal in the 75th minute and to be honest this guy deserved absolutely fuck all from that game unfortunately he ended up drawing and we only take one point so I'm just massaging my temples here because I have to tell you that we only managed to get one point from our first three games in Division 2 and as I said at the end of the last episode yes I'm shit at FIFA I get it you don't need to put it down in the comment section every day uh, I know that by saying this you're actually going to do it more so Maybe if I say I'm good at FIFA. I'm good at FIFA, guys. Just put it down in the comment section and say how good I am. No, I think it's just uh, the moment I'm just really struggling with this team. I've been playing a lot of uh, silver games and I'm absolutely loving playing with silvers at the moment on my main account. And uh, to be honest, golds, it's just got to the point where all I'm playing against is 3-5-2 Bundesliga teams and it just makes my blood boil. But we will persevere. We will come back stronger in the next episode. So make sure you check out the next episode. There may be a chance, or there is a chance, that we may sign the Robin Van Persie that we've all been waiting for. But other than that, I'm going to have to leave it there. If you could drop the video a like, that would be amazing. But other than that, I'm going to leave it, and I will see you all next time.